Hi, this is Steve Siebold. Today I want to talk to you about how I made one mistake, one mistake that cost me 1.6, roughly $1.6 million over a four year period in World Financial Group. One mistake, okay? Now, this is really embarrassing because I'm the guy that wrote the book on World Financial Group. This is the only book ever written on this company, okay? I have almost 20 years experience with the leaders, the background, inside, outside, board members, presidents, you know, I know everybody in this company pretty much and I've been around it. I'm the longest standing vendor. It goes on and on and on. I'm deep in this company, right? And I wrote this book. So you'd think I'd know better, but it turns out <laughs> I wasn't quite as smart as I thought I was. So what I did was, I got into the business with a friend and I never planned on getting in the business. But when I wrote the book, honestly, I, here's what happened. This is honest truth. I just got so into it. It was so exciting interviewing the leaders and be a part of it. And I always loved the audiences when I gave speeches at their conventions every year. I mean, multiple times per year, you know, at their meetings, conventions all over Canada, all over the US. And, uh, and I got so excited after I wrote the book that I thought, man, you know, I mean, I got this business all over the world. I mean, we got offices in 10 countries. I, it's not like I'm looking for a business, but man, it sure would be fun to do it. And I thought, why not, you know? And so I got in with a friend, a local friend here in Atlanta, and um, who didn't follow the system, who no longer followed the system, I should say. And he said it was outdated and, and it's just people didn't drive to meetings anymore. And, you know, that was just kind of a archaic thing that was from the past. It worked in the past, but not really in the present. Well, I didn't really know any better. Uh, I knew that everybody else did it that, uh, that I knew about. Everyone else used the system. But he felt like that, you know, that was outdated and that type of thing. And I didn't really know any better. So I just went along with him. And it turned out that was the worst decision I made in the business. And it cost me again, at least I estimate, and I won't go through all the criteria, but I estimate about $1.6 million roughly uh, that cost me following uh, no system, basically using no system. Now you've heard about the system, right? If you've been around WFG at all, you know, people talk the system, you gotta follow the system. They're like, it's like drinking the Kool-Aid, man. I mean, it's, it's almost cultish the way they, in a, not in a negative way, but in a positive way, but it's almost cultish in the way they talk about, you gotta follow the system. Gotta, they're militant about the system. They say people like Eric Olson, you know, is making millions of dollars a year, and Cash Rostan, uh, you know, out in LA is making millions of dollars a year, and you know, Dan Charlie A, and Penny Oy, and Raja Dhaliwal, and uh, you know, Jamie Villalobos, and Jeff Levitan, and you know the names if you've been around this at all for a long time. They say they're making millions of dollars because they follow the system. You've heard this, and I've heard this for years as well. You know what? They're absolutely right. Those guys, those people are making millions of dollars a year and it's because they follow the system. That was my mistake. I bought into the idea that, that the system was outdated, archaic, etc. And so it was my fault because I'm the one that made the ultimate decision not to follow the system. I got into the business with a friend thinking that would be fun and, uh, and there was no system. And I thought, well, I'll, you know, <clears throat> he must know more than I, than I did and because uh, he's been doing it for a long time and his whole life. And, uh, but, um, but ultimately it's my responsibility as a business person. It's always our fault as a business person. It's always our responsibility to make our decisions. I decided to follow it, which was following no system. And so we ended up writing a book called How Money Works. Um, and we marketed the, the business through that book. And it's a really nice book. It's a really good book. We did sold a lot of copies and it's a really good book. But it's in, there's no system to the book after the book. You just kind of pass the book out and that's it. That's not a system. That's not a system. That's a formula for failure. And effectively, I didn't fail necessarily. Depends on what, the way you, we made about $89,000 a year. If you break it down, about 400 grand, a little under 400,000. Now with residuals, about 400,000. And I figured I should have, based on the leaders I've spoke to, including people like Rich Thawley, uh, who is the patriarch of the company, I should have probably made a couple million dollars over that period of time, part time. I was doing it part time the whole, the, you know, the whole all four years, and I should have made at least a couple of million. So that cost me one point six million dollars. Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this so you don't do this. Please don't make this mistake. If they, if it seems a little strange that they're militant about the system, best advice: go for it. I mean, just go with it. Don't fight it. If it, if it seems you know goofy and like militant, you got to be there on Saturday. You got to be there on Tuesday night. Just do it because you know what they're right. 
That's the way they built this thing, and it's not outdated, and it's not archaic. It works over and over and over. These guys know what they're doing. And again, it may seem, if you come from traditional business like I do, you may think, you know, this is a little goofy. You got to show up on time. If you don't show up on time, they lock the door. And, you know, they got some of these rules are a little bit the extreme. It works. See, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. That's what cost me all the money. And as a result, you know, I'm no longer doing it because it wasn't worth my time financially. But, uh, but I certainly enjoyed it and all the rest of it. But it was, a, it was a costly mistake, and I don't want you to make that mistake. So that's it. Follow the system. Talk to your leader. I'm sure they'll agree. And if it helps you, go pick this book up and read more about these leaders. Pick the right leader. And if they don't follow a system, don't sign up with them. See how strong they are on a scale. Ask them this question, and I'll end with this. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the system is everything to building this business, and one, like what my leader said, one means it means nothing, it's outdated. If they don't give you at least a 9 or a 10 answer, don't sign up with them. That'd be my best advice. The system is everything in this company, and it could make or break your business, which could cost you a fortune. Best of luck.